Hi everyone, this is Jackie from The Woolly Badger and today I am going to be showing you how to join your knitting in the round. Um, before I do that though, I want to talk just a little bit about why we knit in the round and what it actually means. So this is my mega basic cowl pattern and it is knitted completely in the round, which means there's no seam anywhere in it. If I turn it inside out, you can see there's nowhere where I've had to sew it up together. Um, it just makes for a sort of smoother, easier knitting experience, more comfortable because there are no seams rubbing against your neck and so on. Um, when you are knitting the round, you are always knitting with the right side of your work facing you. So you just keep going round and round like this, making your way around and up in a spiral around your work. Um, if you are used to only ever knitting things that are flat, so knitting on straight needles going back one way and then back the other, it can take a little bit of getting your head around, but the actual knitting experience is remarkably similar, just with less purling. So for knitting in the round, you need to use a circular needle, which can look a bit alarming if you're only used to straight needles. What you have is two needle tips that are joined together by a cable. Um, you can get them in all sorts of sizes, both from the size of the needle tip to the length of the cable. So that is a 40 centimetre cable, need uh, cable needle, circular needle. And here I have got what I think is a 100 or 120 centimetre circular needle. So, you know, bit of a difference. Um, the general rule of thumb is you always want to be using a needle that is shorter than the circumference of the thing that you are knitting. You don't want to be spreading your stitches out. If I tried to knit this, which is about 70 stitches on this needle, it would be a whole different video. That's the background. Let's get on to the actual joining, shall we? So it's one of those things, as with many things in knitting, that sounds considerably scarier than it actually is. Um, what I have done here is I have just cast on stitches onto this needle. Um, I've used the long tail cast on. If you want to know more about that, I have another video that you can watch. And what we now need to do is join in the round. So what I need to do is first find the end where I have just cast on my last stitch, where my working yarn is hanging from. That is this end here. Um, it is in this instance the same end as my tail is at because of the cast on I've used. Um, sometimes your tail's over here, doesn't matter. You're looking for your working yarn. And then the basics of what we're gonna do is start knitting this stitch over here. Before we do that though, there is one incredibly important thing we need to do, and that is make sure that all of our stitches are facing in the right direction. By that, I mean, we haven't got any that are looped up over the needle like this. There isn't any twist in the cast on. It's all facing the same way, because if you join and start knitting with that twist, over your needle, that's not coming out. You are gonna knit up a sleeve or a sweater or a cowl or whatever with a Mobius twist in it. Um, it is one of the most frustrating experiences. So what you want to do is make sure that your entire cast on edge is all sitting the same way with no twists over the top. On something this length, that's uh, not too tricky to do. Um, I tend to lay things on the table, make sure that everything's pointed to the inside and then away we go. If you are knitting something that has got a longer cast on, sometimes things work from the bottom up in particular, can have hundreds of stitches, you can knit the first couple of rows flat and then join once you've got a little bit more weight here and you can see what's going on. Um, you will be using the exact same technique. So when you are joining in the round, first thing you do is you place a marker on your right hand needle. So this is going to tell you when you have finished a round and are about to start a new one. Uh, because you're working in that spiral, you don't have the turning point that you do with other things. Um, this just lets you keep track of progress. As you can see here, I'm just using a loop of contrast coloured yarn and plopping it on my needle. But you can get all sorts of stitch markers from this to bulb safety pins to beautiful handcrafted resin things. And then giving a 
final double check on those stitches I just put my needle in and knit my first stitch and then carry on and that is it I have joined in the round um, once I get back round again to that purple marker I just slip that across to my needle and keep on going sorted <laughs>